List M not shown consists of eight different integers, each of which is in the list shown. What is the standard deviation of the numbers in list M? This is a tricky question because obviously we don't know what this list M is, but we have to relate it to the list that's up here. So we have to think about what is true based on each of these circumstances. It's always good with standard deviation. Just remember how to calculate standard deviation, even though you'll never actually be expected to calculate it. What do you need to know? So you need to know the average distance between each point, then square the distances, and then take the average of the squares. So going to statement one, if the average of the numbers in list M is equal to the average of the numbers in the list shown, so this goes back to the fact that they're evenly spaced here, so we know the average of the shown list is gonna be 13. So average M. So the problem with that is, if we look at this list, it's entirely possible that we could take off 22 and 4, for example, and we would have the exact same standard deviation as we would have for this list. But it's also possible that we could take off 6 and 20, for example, or 8 and 18 in which case we would have a situation where we've got different spacing between the average and each of the numbers, in which case the standard deviation would be different. So the standard deviation, if you look at this, it's based on the distance from the average for each point. So if we change the distance between any of the points and each other, as well as any of the distance between each of those points and the average, then that's going to disrupt what we're talking about. It's easier probably to do it graphically. So if we look at the balance here, so I'm just gonna write this all the way out. Uh, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, and 22. So if we took off these two, we would have the same average of 13. And note that if it has eight integers, there are 10 integers here. So what we have to do is remove two integers. So if we took off 22 and four as our two integers, then we're gonna have the same standard deviation because they're all evenly spaced and the distance to the average is gonna be the same. However, if we keep the average the same, it's entirely possible that we do this. And here, see, we've got a distance of four, and here we've got a distance of four, but here we've got distances of two and we've got distances of two. So now it's imbalanced, not everything is evenly spaced. So this would have a different standard deviation that disrupts the even spacing. So we don't know for sure that this spacing is even. So basically what we're saying is with even spacing, it works without, it doesn't work. So ultimately, that statement alone will not work. Number two, the list M does not contain 22. So let's draw the list again. List M does not contain 22. Okay, well we know that we can get rid of one of those, but it's completely random which of the others we get rid of. We just have to take out one more number, but let's say for example we take out 14. Okay, but there's no reason that it wouldn't be, for example, that we get rid of 12 or get rid of 8, etc. So this is certainly not going to work alone. Now, the question is, can we put them both together and get a C answer? So if the average of the numbers in the list M is equal to the average of the numbers in the list shown, and in order for the average to do that, so we need even spacing to do this. If the average is equal to the average of the numbers in the list shown, all right, so if we get rid of this one, which is statement two, then in order to keep the average the same, we have to get rid of this one, which preserves the even spacing. And therefore, we will have the same standard deviation as this list. Am I calculating the standard deviation? No, I don't care, because it's gonna be way too much effort to do the calculation. But I can tell that if I preserve the even spacing here, if I'm just cutting these two numbers off the list, that this new list will have the exact same standard deviation as the original list. So the answer is, in fact, C. Both statements together will work.